Okay, question 48 really is the sort of the last bit of this sort of um, area that you can get asked about um, simply because if you like we've, we've talked about <clears throat> the actual making of the product the process of making the product but now you might have they're asking about the closing inventory for each so I'll focus again um, maybe on A and B actually so the key point here is that okay let's work out the full cost of making these things right let's start so you're told actually I think this question is almost slightly fair it says that they give you the joint costs they tell you that your joint cost is they told you 8,000 and then you had some further processing of 2,000 which gave you a total cost therefore of 10,000 I'll do the same thing for product B joint cost of 2,000 further processing of 1,000 total cost for making the, the or in terms of making output here I'm talking about output right because that's what what happened is 3,000 and the same thing here 4,000 Further processing three thousand, total cost seven thousand. So you made output of twenty thousand items here, you made output of twelve thousand items here, and you made out output of ten thousand items here. Which means that the cost per unit, if you like, if we're valuing our inventory as a whole, all of it is fifty p per unit, right? Because that's ten divided by twenty. This is three divided by twelve. This is twenty five p. And this is 70p per unit because you spent 10,000 pounds on 20,000 units. You spent 3,000 pounds on 12,000 kilograms or whatever, 7,000 pounds on 10,000 kilograms. And so that's where we are. Here we are. Now, the next step really is this question of okay, um, the question says that you have closing inventory of 1,000. So it means that what's happened is you made 20,000 kilograms and you must have gotten rid or sold 19,000 kilograms to have 1,000 kilograms left. I mean, that's simply as, as simple as that. So the question is, what is the value of these 1,000 kilograms? Well, if each of them is 50p, that means that 1,000 of them must be, well, 500 pounds. Here we have 25p. It says that you have closing inventory of 3,000. So really, right, if you have 25p each, and you have closing inventory of 3,000. That's taking us nicely into the 750. Actually, we have to go all the way. 750 pounds. So we know it's either A, a or B. Let's finish off 70p each. And it says that you have 2,500. So 2,500 times 70p. Um, 2,500 times 70p is 1,750. So the answer here is A. So what am I saying? Find, you're just making a product. Find the full cost of making the thing. Find the cost per kilogram. And then deal with it as you would in normal accounting where you would have, it's now va it's now stock. You buy some, You I mean, you sell some, you have some left. Eh, and that's it, pretty much. So that's question 48 um, there. And I'll leave this on its own because the next set of questions are all on um, um, sort of um, um, absorption costing and things like that. So we'll deal with that as a separate topic.